Hello musicians, my name is Andrew Mercer and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to, ex how to sample songs, uh, sample existing songs, how to extract little pieces of sound to use in things like remixes and mashups and all sorts of other things. So hold tight. <laughs> Before we get started, let me mention about this album. It's excellent album. You should check it out. It's called Seeds by the band Hey Rosetta. Hey Rosetta. Great Canadian band. Okay, check it out. So now, um, sampling music in Audacity. 10 seconds before I get started. Be careful about sampling music that doesn't belong to you. You may sample something that, that you don't have uh, proper legal entitlement to and end up using it in your music. And before you know it, you won't be able to publish your music. So be very careful about the samples you use. Okay, so now, um, sampling is actually quite easy in Audacity. Uh, let's get started with a piece that I wrote, I wrote, I just uh, recorded for, a, um, for a, a different video on beat matching. So you can check that one out too. That's for mashups and mixtapes and things. So this is a very short piece of music, but let me just play the beginning because I want to sample the beginning section. Okay, you hear that little drum thing at the beginning, that snare drum pattern? Yeah, I want to get that out. So um, what I'll do is I'll take my mouse and I'll slide it across the very beginning of this of this music. I'm going to blow this up a little bit just so you can see it, see what I'm sliding across. This is the very beginning. I'm going to just take the, the, the beginning section here and I'm going to blow it up even more so I can see it nice and clearly. A um, little too big, I think. And now let's rewind and play. There you go. That's... That's what I'm looking for, is that little bit at the beginning here. So that's, let me just sample, let's take this much right here and push play again. Okay, I don't want this little bit of sound at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor right at the beginning of that right there. And there you go. And so I'll, I'll get just the drum part. Let's have a listen again. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so now I will take that out. Now, the way I'll take it out is pretty easy. I'll just go copy, edit copy, and it takes it out. Now, um, I want to put this into something new. So I'll go to file and I'll start a new project. So there you go, click new, and now I get a blank project. I'm going to paste what I just recorded, what I just sampled out. I'm going to paste it into uh, the new tune. There you go, so there it is. Let's blow that up. There you go. So not much to that, that's pretty easy. I, I want to show you a little bit of a, a thing that I do all the time. It helps tidy things up. When you snip off some sound and you cut it at the end, uh, sometimes you get a little tick, a tick, a little little sharp spike at the end of the of, or, or at the beginning of a sample. And uh, the way you can re reduce the possibility of that happening is by doing a little trick I do. Now, you can see here, I can zoom in and zoom out pretty easily with my zoom in and zoom out magnifying glasses. So I'm going to zoom way in on the very, very end. Now, right here, you'll notice that my um, my sound, uh, this, the waveform, it doesn't, at the very end point, that little dot is not exactly at the zero point. And if that was way up off the zero point, it would cause a tick. Now, I want it to be on zero for the very ending. So the last three or four of these points, these sample points, I'm going to put them at, at zero. So I use my little pencil tool here, and I'm going to just take the little guy and I move him up to zero. See that? Just last two or three, like that. There you go. And do the same thing for the other channel. And we do that there, up to zero, up to zero, you know, like that, last three. Now, in this sample, when I sample it, it, there wasn't a tick at the end, but there could have very well been. And sometimes people get it and they go, I don't know how to get my samples to end clean. They end, there's a tick or begin clean. That's how you do it, right there. Now, at the beginning, there's a little bit of silence you can see. I, I want to get rid of that too. So I'll go back up here and I'll, I'll select my selection tool. I'll go back to the beginning here. Uh, let's just blow this beginning section up a little so we can see where we are. Now... I'm going to start it right here. I'm going to snip off that much, first of all. Let's see how we sound now. That's pretty good. So so now, basically what we got now is we've got a, a sample we can use. Oh, I didn't check to see what the uh, what, the, what it was like at the beginning, like we did at the end. 
Look, that one's a little up too. So those little, the little sample points are a little high, so we can move those up. Tidy that up a little bit. I don't know if we're all the way back to the beginning. No, we're not. There we go. Oh, we are. We're at the beginning, and yeah, and it's it's already at zero, so that's okay. That won't be a little tick. That'll be fine. So there you go. Now, um, that's basically it. Now you can just take this sample, and this could have been a guitar solo, or it could have been a voice piece, it could be something, anything at all, a horn hit, you know, it could have been all kinds of things. And you can now take this and just paste it directly into other pieces of music. So that's how you get things out. Now we're going to have a look at another video on how to actually put things back in again. So uh, we're also going to have a look at how we can use these kinds of samples and change the, um, the, the tempo, the speed of the sample, and change the pitch of the sample, and do all kinds of things in order to make it fit into your music a little better. But that's for another video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to keep track of these videos. Um, and if you subscribe, you'll be notified when I do put a new one up. So keep track. So hit the subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, got any questions, put, the, put it in the comments. I have questions about this video from other uh, subscribers already. So that's why I'm making this one up. If you have any questions you want answered, or if there's any comments you want to make, put them in the comment section. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.